outside here. Raindrops on the flowers, even if they are still the poinsettias, it's beautiful. You know, I decided to go with this photo from our 10 News Weather Watchers because all the other ones were so gray and so gloomy. And there's a brighter side to a rainy day. Look at this. Uh, the ground is happy. The flowers are just looking stunning. And this is a great photo. Thank you, Libra, for posting that picture and for making our 10 News Weather Watchers Facebook page just a little bit brighter. In Palmar, over an inch of rain. I just got the updated numbers. We bumped up from 0.31 to 0.35 in Oceanside. Escondido, just over a quarter of an inch as well. San Diego, we did get that tenth of an inch. Isn't that wonderful? Don't forget, the average for the month of January is two inches. So we still have a long way to go for the month in Santee close to a quarter of an inch with a few sprinkles left. We may actually make it to that quarter and our visibility map. You can see the problem spots are now fewer, so it's actually getting a little bit better. In Carlsbad, it's up to a mile, two miles in La Jolla and also in San Diego, down to a mile in IB, but it was actually half a mile about 30 minutes ago. So some changes are in the works already. We'll see a few spotty showers through the evening. Our storm will be exiting tonight. There's still a slim chance for a little bit of rain late Saturday. Then the, our next best chance for another wet, cloudy, gray kind of day will be on Monday. It could bring some light to moderate rainfall. We'll see about those rain totals. And no satellite and radar, you can see how all that rain came through, but it's now moving out in our 10 news pinpoint Marie future cast. Still a chance there may be a few drier breaks, but the chance will continue through at least one or two o'clock in the morning, and that chance is going to be fewer and fewer showers as the hours go on. Tomorrow, drier with some sunshine. Temperatures tonight will be falling to 49 in Escondido, 47 Ramona, 52 Chula Vista, mid 50s in IB, 54 La Jolla, 52 in Carlsbad. Those clouds and moisture are actually going to allow temperatures to look a little bit better as we head into the overnight hours. Tomorrow, going up to 63 Poway, 65 El Cajon, 64 here in San Diego. In Carlsbad, still another cool day with 59 degrees, 59 in Oceanside, 61 in Fallbrook. In over the mountains still quite windy a wind advisory will remain in effect until four o'clock in the morning an average winds tonight will be anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour gusts could be greater at times making it challenging on the roads in our 10 news pinpoint seven day forecast low 60s starting with clouds in the morning but if you have plans for the afternoon well, count and sunshine, 62 an average, 67 Saturday with temperatures improving this weekend. The only downside is that that warm up is going to be short lived. So by next week, cooling back down to the low 60s with an unsettled day on Monday. If we can get another quarter of an inch, you had that tenth of an inch and now we're getting closer, but we're still not even at half an inch of rain for January. I love to put things in perspective because it seems like the rain is not ending, but is it enough? Is it going to help our drought? It's helping so far. We just have to keep it going. 70 on Saturday, 74 Sunday next week. There's that wet rainy day on Monday. Mostly cloudy skies in the mountains. Temperatures will stay in the lows in the low 50s, but towards the end of next week, we may see another chance of rain, which I'm very interested on because it's the Carlsbad Marathon in half marathon. There's going to be a lot of runners. We need some dry weather and it could be wet. You need yeah. some dry weather for that. Yes. Actually, I like running in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is nice.